Hello, hello, and welcome to another Fallout 4 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to manipulate crafting mods. Uh, three things precisely. Uh, how to remove items that you don't want in your crafting menu, how to add them, and how to merge small crafting mods so that you, you can have like a bigger pack instead of 20 ESP that all add one or two things. Uh, for this one, I am using my crafting mod 9000 GTX. Hope you all like the name. The Sina tradition is my private one that has some items from other mod authors that I cannot share publicly in Nexus. I'm going to use faction pinups. Uh, it adds a few posters. And then there's Efirasi's uh, Better Beds. I'm going to show you how to merge those three. And let's load them up to test 5 at 8. Test five edit fucking shit for four up for edit. We we wanted the pinups, the beds, and my mod. Right. So first, I'm gonna show you if you if you're using like a homemaker, uh, you would have duplicates in your crafting menu if you're trying to add my crafting shift mod. So uh, well, basically, you only need to remove the co uh, constructible object which is the crafting recipe uh, you can if you want to be very clean and neat you can also remove the actual item unless it's a vanilla one one so for example if you want the kit get rid of the rugs the rugs are here all you need to do is hold shift and choose from the beginning to the end and have this all selected and click remove or you can uh, alternatively press the delete it will ask you if you're sure about it. Do uh, back up the ESP that you're editing just in case something goes wrong before you remove stuff. Uh, if you if you don't want to remove the item itself from the game, if you're okay with it being there and not appearing anywhere, you don't have to touch these ones. The main thing you need to remove is uh, the recipe. For example, let's say all the vault stuff is already added by homemaker you can hold control and click each of them that you want to remove now these are recipes that only add a single item there can be recipes that uh, craft a whole list of items which is form id list as you can see i've got four one here uh, if you want to remove the recipe that crafts all these four dresses you can find it somewhere in here there we go this is the recipe you can see flst that's the form id list if you remove this you won't be able to craft any of the recipes uh, any of the dresses or if you want to remove all the dlc paintings and shit uh, you can see all the paintings are, cr are in one form list so find paintings it can make sure that it's the right one you can hold control and click this because it says created object and now you can see the list of items created or alternatively if you already have my DLC paintings mod and you don't want them in this one uh, you can just uh, hold shift fuck off uh, but, but, but that's the DLC ones okay so you can't select them in bulk you have to delete them one by one so I want to remove all the P uh, DLC paintings from this mod Oh, what, what now? I'm making a tutorial, don't fuck with me. What? We listen to good music while we wait for it to... It thinks I'm going to change it and it started to load all the items that I could put here. So it's now frozen. So I don't want to edit it. Just select one and delete. And that was the last one. Now, they are still in the game. Like, if you, if you go to static and look at paintings, they're still here. You can also delete them from from static. Oh, what did I do? Oh. Here you go. Here you can select multiple ones. Hold shift from the first to the last and delete. So now all the DLC paintings have been removed. Uh, right, so that's how you remove items. It can be either a form list. You can remove them from the form list 
But do remember that if you delete a, a static item, a furniture item, a container, anything, but you leave the constructible object, it will crash because it can't find what it's supposed to craft. So if you, if you remove an item, be sure to remove its recipe as well. Now uh, let's add a recipe. So I have no idea what to add. Let's go look at load screen, because load screen is full of static items. Let's say you want to add an Assaultron statue to the crafting menu. So the load screen, loading screen if I, I'm, I'm just looking at these items are the, what appear in loading screen. So I can see that it's a static and hold control, click here. So you can see it's load screen Assaultron. Now press F2. Oh, you can't because it's in Fallout ESM. Anyway, you need the form ID. So it's here. Get this code. Close Fallout ESM. Go to constructible object. Uh, if you if you're using an existing crafting mode as a base, it's the easiest. If you if you don't have an ESP yet and you want to add it to a new ESP, you have to do it through Fallout ESM. Constructible object. Find one. It's for a workshop. Uh, office desk, whatever. Uh, where are the statues? You can sort and find statues somewhere. Statue fountain. Now, right click, copy as new record into. There we go. Uh, add it to a new file. Give it a name, no ESP. Yes, you want to add this as a master. Close up for like ESM. As you can see, our new ESP has appeared here. It has the constructible object. Now, uh, first one you want to link is created object. Edit, right click edit and paste the form ID here. As you can see now, this recipe creates a static object called a uh, Soltron. You need 10 copper for it. Uh, conditions can be related to quests like here, or you can put like the player has a skull in his inventory, else this recipe won't appear and he won't be able to craft it. Now, I have to give a disclaimer that I'm not sure if this creature Assaultron is going to work. So uh, it, it will be easier to add existing furniture, like uh, like tables, chairs, you, you can pick furniture from Fallout ESM, any furniture in the game, find furniture here, so you could add stadium chairs or anything. Uh, the most important thing is linking the created object, putting the components, you can add new or remove them all. And the ballistic fever, fiber, there we go. You can craft the Assaultron with that. If you want to add a new item, let's say we're adding a new chair. So it's in furniture. Find a basic chair. You can sort by name so you can see it's a chair. Copy as new record into any chair. Copy to your new crafting mod. And What the? If it doesn't appear here, just close this, open it again. Now you can see the chair is here. Here's where it's linking to, where the model is. I'm going to show you uh, where my building stuff is. Red chair. Copy this, paste it here. Get the file path. You don't need the meshes, just the, the folder under meshes. So we need this. Click edit, paste, done. Now this is a new chair. Now you need a recipe for it. Now, as it's a new ESP, you don't. You can choose this. Press F2. That will give you the form ID. Now go to constructible object. Copy new record. 
whatever typo copy it to the ESP uh, refresh it's there link it to the chair remove select here to remove all conditions now you can craft it anytime anytime where Uh, but that's how you can add new items now I promise to show you how to merge items as well so we're gonna gonna start over I didn't save them because I don't need them get my Crafting shoes, the beds, and the faction pinups. Now, uh, the mod that adds most items out of all these three is my crafting mod. So I want to add these beds and these posters into crafting shoes. Collapse all, expand, open, whatever. You can see there's tons and tons of stuff. Now, this is cumbersome, but you need to select all of these. Hold shift, select this and this. You can also, after you've selected these, you can hold control and select more items. So now I've selected everything in Ephiras' better beds and everything in faction pinups and copy as new record into. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Now you can remove uh, some prefixes or you can add your own. So I'm going to put Ellie underscore to them. Ah, Sorry, yeah, here, Ellie. I don't want the suffix, and now I choose to add them to crafting shares. Oh, for crying out loud. So now I have to alter the load order of the mods. So that the, the one I want to merge into is the last. And then we start over. Copy these. I'm gonna see if this works. See now the problem is that these have material swaps which changes the, the de textures so you have to copy those and edit them as well. I'm gonna copy all of these and copy as new record into crafting shares. Now it wants to add these two as a master. Allow it to do that. Do that. It's because uh, these new items we just copied are still looking for references in faction pinups and effort beds. We're gonna fix that. So yes, you want to add them as masters. I can close these and if you expand these you've seen that these have been added here. Here are the bed mod and the faction pinups. These are all the recipes for them. They need to be updated now. Uh, beds are under furniture. This is the first one. Choose it. Copy that form ID. Bed sheets. Paste it here created object now it's updated you have to do it for each of these second one double bed copy f2 copy paste so now the bed mode has been merged into into Ellie's crafting share the faction pinups require a tiny bit more work because they have a material swap where is it There we go. Material swap boss. Again, you have to just copy the form ID. This is a pinup boss. So go to static where the posters are. Brotherhood pinup boss. And here is faction pinup boss. This is the old one. As you remember, we added Ellie to the beginning. So. I'm going to paste the new one in and now it has Ellie underscore faction pinup. Do this for all of them. Railroad. 
is here. Material swap, edit, paste. I'm not gonna go through them all now, but this is what you need to do. You have to go through one by one if there's material swaps and paste them to these newly created items that have the new prefix. Since once you've done that, you can start copying these actual static items and link them to their crafting recipes. Again, select one, press F2, copy paste to the crafting recipe. Constructible object, faction pin up, boss, edit, paste. And now it crafts Ellie faction pin up boss. Now, I'm going to remove these material swaps because do not do this. I'm going to do it so I can demonstrate you how to remove the master files. Mm. Now, because I deleted them, it, this gives an error. I'm just going to quickly clean that up. So that the... So now there shouldn't be... Uh, now I'm gonna show you a trick. Compare selected, you can drag and drop stuff. Now, do remember that you have to copy each of these statics into the recipes, corresponding ones, but I'm gonna make a shortcut now so I can remove that. This, this faction pinup boss clean is from this ESP. So it is dependent on this one. That's why I'm changing these recipes now to remove the dependency. What am I even? These compare and we're going to drag this. Now all of these recipes craft the same thing. So don't do this. I'm just doing it to get rid of the dependency. So now I have no traces left. No links to these two ESPs. Everything is now standalone. I've got my new new posters. They have their material swaps fixed. The recipes have been upgraded. Instead of using items from these mods, they are using the newly created Ellie underscore items. So that's my cat. Uh, so as you can see from the file header, it's slaved to faction pinups and better bets. You can clean it up after you've removed the dependency by clicking, right clicking this and clean masters. As you can see now the file here has changed and it removed the two mods because we're not linking to them when we don't need anything from them anymore because everything is now standalone as new items. Boss clean. And so on. So that's how you merge, merge crafting mods together. You can also start as a new item. You can, you, if you want to make a new, completely new ESP, do remember that you will have to add all of these items from this mod and sort these out. So that's why I thought it would be easier to merge the two smaller ones into this big one. You can uh, copy them new record into a new ESP file. So that's it. If I was being too confusing or anything, so I just, I didn't plan for this tutorial, I just quickly put it together. So if you didn't understand something or if you have additional questions, uh, just leave a comment under the video and I'll get back to you right away. That's it.